Good day. Pre-wipe rating season has started and as BSG stated on their Twitter, um, top 10 in any of the categories will receive plus 2 lines of stash of inventory sales permanent. So if you do participate in this season, uh, anybody can, and you finish top 10, you can get two permanent uh, additional lines in your stash. So I'm going to go through different um, categories, tell you how you can win, and um, give, you, give you a reality check, because I don't think majority of us will be able to compete for a very simple reason. So first of all, if you want to win within the most of the categories, categories, probably except, um, I don't know, um, longest shot, you will need to spend around 12 hours per day playing the game. So, experience. Experience is probably uh, getting farmed by killing raiders on labs and rogues on lighthouse. So if you go want to go for experience, you got to play those two maps. KD ratio, I don't really know. The guy with the 64 KD, 31% survival rate, 13 rates. Um, maybe it's not updating, maybe something is off. I'm not sure what's the best way to farm KD, but probably playing Factory. If you play Factory and you don't die, you can you can get like 20 plus KD easily. All right, next survival rate, 100%. Uh, two rates. Don't know. Maybe it's bugged. Maybe it's not updating. But yeah, probably playing Factory for a couple of raids and surviving them. Like I think it's doable to survive around um, 20 to 30 raids on Factory. I think that's doable. So you can get 100% survival rate with uh, 30 rates. I assume the more rates you have, the higher in the ranks you're going to be. Next thing is average profit. Average profit is uh, very questionable. I think it's done by flea market. So this guy, now you see me, he probably sold a red keycard for 73 million rubles and he didn't sell anything else whatsoever. So his average profit is 73 million rubles. Kills. Kills is you need to farm factory. You literally get the best gear. You get in the right mindset, and you farm factory. To win all of this, uh, it's probably gonna end earlier than 41 days, probably three three weeks, let's say, maybe maybe four weeks. I think you will need around 100 to 300 million rubles. So if you don't have at least at least 100 150 million rubles in your stash, I think going for top 10 will be very very tough. All right, next raids. Rates, rates, rates. 270 rates, 0% survival rate. You literally load in, you disconnect, boom, you're done. Uh, longest shot. I think longest shot is done on shoreline. If I'm aware, you stay right here next to the tunnel on this hill. And then you shoot someone who is located right there on the road to customs exit. And you gotta, you gotta hit them. I think that's the best way to do it. If there are any other ways, let me know down, uh, down in the comments below. Next one is playtime. I'm not sure if playtime is counted by sitting in the menu or being actually in the raid. If it's in the raid, you literally go in the raid. You wait to be uh, disconnected, like miss missing an action. And uh, then you get those minutes. Once again, I'm not entirely sure how this one works. Inventory value is very simple. It's the total amount of items in your stash that are calculated by a ever average price or something. Oh, this guy is legit, by the way. This guy is definitely legit. I fought him a couple of times on laps, and um, it was it was good. So, yeah. Xiao and chilling. Yeah. Uh, trade rating is the amount of trade rating you get by selling items on the flea. Once again, if you sell expensive items, you can get a lot of uh, trade rating fast, and that's probably the best way to do it. Um, so, yeah. I don't think I will be participating in uh, this pre-wipe uh, rating season because it's very tough, very time-consuming, and I might just do other type of content instead. But if you are willing to do it, uh, go for it, and best of luck. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.